it's causing a lot of controversy because Sony has really doubled down hard on this concept that this is a new console generation. But the impression we were kind of given at the PlayStation 5 reveal, certainly in the case of Gran Turismo 7, which had PlayStation 5 labeling on it, PlayStation 5 exclusive, no less, um, you know, looks like they're embracing a cross-generation strategy that we weren't fully aware of and that, you know, Microsoft were fully upfront with, um, with their own first party titles. Yeah, because it feels like they were trading on the fact that it was going to be a shift to a new generation. And then it's like, oh, actually, you know what? These are cross-gen games. Hey, this is Al from Transformational Gaming. Today, I want to talk about Sony's deception of cross-gen titles. And before I go into all that, I want to ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Um, I think we've been doing pretty good. Uh, so let's keep going with um, the likes and, and the comments. I, I honestly think we're doing a really good job. So uh, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I want you guys to keep doing what you're doing. But today I want to talk about Sony's deception uh, that Digital Foundry talked about uh, today or yesterday by the time this is uploaded to the internet. But so the long and short of it is, and this is just like a kind of a segment that Digital Foundry did yesterday. It wasn't necessarily the whole video. That's like an hour and 30 minutes long. But hey, I listened to it. So <laughs> I can't necessarily blame them because I'm listening to everything that they're talking about while I'm working. So, But one of the things that kind of disturbed me was the fact that they had the audacity to say that Sony was or implied that Sony had deceived them where Microsoft was honest about their cross-gen. Sony had deceived us and went back and said that, that we're not going to necessarily do it by releasing PS4 games. So I want to talk about that. And to me, <laughs> there's one big difference between what Microsoft is doing. And, and admittedly, look, Digital Foundry they made some concessions uh, while talking about it so I'm not going I'm not going to ding down so badly but I will ding them for this and I want to talk about the difference between what Sony's doing and Microsoft is doing Microsoft is doing something totally different from what Sony's doing see what Microsoft is doing is demanding that third party developers develop on a PlayStation 4 level console. Okay? So they're making okay, they're making developers develop current gen games on the Xbox Series S. That's totally different from what Sony's doing. Sony is developing PS4 games within their own shop. Okay? With under under the first party umbrella. Okay? See, that's totally different from what Digital Foundry is talking about. See, Digital Foundry is saying something crazy like <laughs> Sony deceived them. And we, be, you know, because Sony did say, hey, look, we believe in generations. And so far, what they said has 101% been true. So I don't understand what the deception is here. Yes, you cannot, a third party developer cannot develop on the PS4 and the PS5. There are some games that are by third parties that is on the PS4 and the PS5, but that's under their own decision, right? And of course, any developer can de develop for any console, but Sony's not forcing developers to develop for the PS4. Alright? What Sony's doing is developing games that was developed 
initially for the PS4 and just bringing them over to the PS5. That's totally different. <laughs> okay? That's totally different than what they're talking about. And I had to make this video because if I struggled making this video because you know, you don't want to piss these guys off, man. They're I'm probably going to get reported for this video because I'm using their footage. And I don't care. Okay? Because I'll put out the audio <laughs> if I have to. But I think that that's very 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 underhanded of them, man, to make it look like Sony is deceiving the public <laughs> by by bringing titles that's already been developed in the PS4 and bringing them over to the PS5. I, I just don't understand that, man. So, you know, I just think Digital Foundry, I, this, that, that's, that videos like this is the reason why I, we have this love-hate relationship with you, <laughs> okay? You know, and, and, and you know, it, it may just be me, but, you know, man, Digital Foundry is a great channel, but they say some asinine stuff, man, to be so smart of guys, man. I don't know if Microsoft is paying them are they really just coming up with this stuff? But anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to call that out. There's there's a big difference between what Microsoft is doing. Microsoft is making these third-party developers develop for the Series S. Sony's not doing that. Sony's just taking games that was developed on the PS4 and just bringing them over to the PS5. That's a huge difference. They never told any third parties that you got to make games for the PS4. Both of their consoles that they have on the market, the digital and the Blu-ray drive version of their consoles are equal. Both of them have the same chip, same processor, same GPU. That's not what Microsoft is doing. Microsoft got a Xbox One X in a Xbox Series S with terrible names. So, I'm not going to harp on it. I thought that was very slimy by Digital Foundry. You you should be ashamed of yourself, John Littleman and Richard Ledbetter. You should be ashamed of yourself because that is a slimy thing to put on Sony for what they're doing. Sony is not <laughs> making developers develop on the PS4. These are titles that are already have been developed for the PS4. So don't be acting like Sony is deceiving somebody. Take that stuff on somewhere else, man. Take that stuff to Microsoft. Don't bring this over here to Sony. All right, I'm done. Comment, like, subscribe if, if you like the content. Uh, but I, I'm just, I'm very irritated right now. Um, but you guys have a nice day. Peace.